Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I am Matt. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we are going to check out the Drag Nano Pod Kit by Vupu. Now, if you've been vaping for a while, you know that the Drag Mod has been very, very popular, and now they have a little pod version. So let's go ahead and dive into it. This is what your packaging is going to look like. So inside, you do have your device, a 1ml pod, micro USB charging cable, a chain lanyard, a gene chip card, a warranty card, and a user manual. So this device is 54 millimeters tall, 39 millimeters wide, and 11 millimeters thick. Built in 750 milliamp hour battery. And it basically has the same styling and the materials feel the same as the drag mod. So you got this resin panel right here. Then the rest of this here is metal, a zinc alloy, I'm sure, but it's got that, that platinum finish, I think is what they call it. They did that with the uh, drag two mod as well. There's a uh, platinum edition. And as always on these, you have the big drag branding on the back side. On the bottom there, it does say Gene Chip, and you have a micro USB port for charging. This does only have half amp charging though. I found that it charges up in a little over an hour. And then right there is where you would attach your lanyard, and you have a little light indicator right there. And then there is where you put your pod, a couple contacts down in there, and a draw activation switch. One thing just to point out right now, I do really like the, uh, the two-tone metal finish here. You know, you got this this glossy, what they're calling a platinum finish, and then you got this uh, more of a matte finish with the jean chip riding raised. I don't know, just looks cool to me. And here is your pod. Like I said, this thing holds only one ml of liquid, a 1.8 ohm coil inside. Pretty, pretty standard and simple. Two contacts right there, and then you got your airflow hole right there. And there is your mouthpiece. Definitely has that jewel type shaped mouthpiece. Also reminds me of that Finesse Vega pod a bit as well. So this is actually a top fill. You pull up like so, and then you fill up right there. So I guess not very top, but a side top fill. And then you have this chimney right here. So you fill it on up, then you put your cap back on. You could see right there that lines up with this side, okay? It slides on like so. So I have a salt liquid in my other device. I'm gonna fill this one up with just regular 12 milligram. You just push the tip in like so, and then you wanna tilt it about like that when you're filling. And you can't go too fast, or you could end up getting an air bubble in there and make it more difficult to fill up. Once you get to the very top, you gotta slow it down even more too, I've noticed. Okay, so I think that's good enough. Yeah, just got a little air bubble on that side and right there. Now let's slide this back on. And then you push your pot in and you'll see that little light indicator go on. That light is green when your battery is above 60%. It's blue from 20 to 60% and red under 20%. Now they say this has a gene chip in it. And uh, I think what that does is just regulate this at like 3.5, 3.6 volts. But I have noticed still, once you get lower in the battery, um, you know, the, the vape quality does go down a little bit. So probably once your battery goes under 3.6 volts, you're then just getting like a direct output. So that's pretty much it. Super simple little pod device. Very, very small. Pretty nice size battery in a, in a device this small though. As far as size comparison, there it is next to an Orion Q. Quite a bit smaller as you can see. A little bit thinner as well. And here's a few others I've been using. Oh, one other thing to mention too with this is that when you pull the pot out, you wanna pinch a bit like that, okay? Uh, I've noticed sometimes if I just go to pull it out, I don't know if it's gonna do it on this one. No, it's not. Let's see if it does it on this uh, other one here. So if I just go to pull it out, yeah, it ends up pulling just the cap off and not the whole pod. So you got to pinch and pull, if that makes sense. All right, guys, that is it for the up close. Let's go ahead, go up top, vape these, and talk about them a little more. All right, here's the Vupu Drag Nano. This one just has regular 50, 50, 12 milligram nicotine inside. Let's vape it. Okay, this one is a 25 milligram Nick salt. Let's go ahead and vape that.
the vape off of this is very similar to that Finesse Vega that I reviewed, I don't know, three, four weeks ago now. Little tiny pod system, not many bells and whistles, but a decent amount of battery life and it looks really cool. So it's similar to the, to the Finesse Vega. Let's talk pros and cons of this though, cons first. First off, when you go to fill on some of these pods, not all of them, you end up pulling off, see I'm not doing it now of course, I showed you guys in the up close though, you end up just pulling off the top cap. By the way, these pods are just press fit, not magnets, so they kind of click into place like so. But anyway, that's worth mentioning. So when you do pull it out, I would suggest pinching and pulling. Also, not a big fan of the fill port location where it's on the side up there. You kind of got to tilt a little bit. Make sure your liquid's getting over to the other side of the chimney. Um, you know, you can end up getting air bubbles stuck. So you got to fill it a little bit slower than some other pods. And I wish that somehow, you know, they would have just put the port on the very top. Another con for me is it's a pretty slow charger. It only has half amp charging. Wish they would have at least done one amp or something so it would have charged up a little faster. So that's a bummer. That being said, this can definitely last you all day. You're gonna get three to 350 puffs off of this battery. Let's talk pros. Biggest one for me, build quality. It feels like a full-size drag does, you know, those same materials. Solid metal, feels like a little mini brick or something, you know, there's no rattle or anything. It just, it feels solid. You drop this thing, it should be fine. Very, very well made and feels more premium than a lot of the other little pods like this. Flavor's good on the pods. It's definitely made for a higher nicotine. Like uh, if I was using normal, regular and conventional nicotine, I'd probably wanna use an 18 in it instead of a 12 or, you know, a 25 milligram salt. It fits that bill a little bit more, but the flavor is quite nice and you actually get a pretty warm vape off of it. The draw is a medium MTL. Now on the original version of this, they sent me with the original pods is a little bit looser of a draw, but then I think they tighten the draw up a little bit, I'm noticing, which makes for a warmer vape and it's more satisfying to me. 